So this right here is my topwater lures tackle box. Inside, I've got tons of lures that are great for catching bass. We've got poppers, we've got ploppers, we've got wake baits, we have buzz baits, we've got frogs, we've got a spider, and we have walking baits. But in this box, there's one lure that stands out above the rest, and it is this one right here. And I think the reason why it stands out is because it's huge. I always call it massive. Sometimes they say huge. But there's a secret about this giant topwater bait that I want to share with you guys in today's video, whether you're a pond angler or you fish from a bass boat or a kayak. My name is Tyler. Let's talk about it. Another giant, another giant. Look at that, y'all. I can't believe what I just caught. Yes! The giant topwater walking bait. Now, a lot of different companies make this bait here. I think the original giant topwater is called a Lunker Punker. It was made out of wood back in the day. This one here is made by Strike King, and it is the Mega Dog. This here is the regular sized Strike King Sexy Dog walking bait, and this is the Mega Dog. As you can tell, uh, it's, it's quite a bit more mega. And so because of that, I'm gonna throw it on my big bait rod that I usually throw these kind of baits on. But for today's challenge, I'm gonna be snipping off this bait and tying on this giant topwater to my seven foot 11 heavy rod with 65 pound braid and a giant bait casting reel so I can absolutely launch this thing. Cause like I said, I have a secret I wanna share with you guys about this specific bait and it includes long casts. So now that we've got our giant topwater rigged to our giant rod and reel, let's see how this thing looks in the water. Oh yeah. I like that. As long as you get the cadence right, that thing walks back and forth by a foot to two feet. I think the farther away the Mega Dog is from the boat, the easier it actually walks side to side and the farther. Work, work, splash. Okay, enough talking about what this bait is, what it looks like. Let's go on the water and see if we can catch some giant, aggressive, largemouth bass on this thing. I'm pumped. So first official cast with this thing. Oh my gosh. I literally cast almost all the way to my backing line. That's like 50 yards. Come on, fish. Come, brother bass. Eat my top water. Oh, holy smokes. Oh, you scared me. Oh, my gracious. That was absolutely... That was insane. Oh, my gosh. What a bite. He listened to me. You listened. Get in here, you butterball. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I hooked him on the belly. But thank you, Mr. Three Pound Bass. Absolute chunk. That right there is a specimen for eating the Mega Dog. <sighs> That's so cool. I'm gonna get the release for Instagram. If y'all don't follow me, you should. I don't know if y'all saw that. A fish followed it to the boat. This bait is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come eat it, come eat it, buddy. Where'd you go? Oh, he's still there, he's sharking it. He's sharking it. Come on, oh my gosh. Yes, let's go. Oh my gracious, holy cow, that was insane. Oh my gosh, what a big one. What a big and get in here, in the boat, yes. Three pounder, absolutely sharked it. He followed it like the whole way back to the boat. That's nuts. I am dying to tell you guys the secret of this bait. Oh, it's so cool. Oh! God, this is fun. Holy smokes, what a bite. What a bite, I wasn't even paying attention. Holy cow. And you know what? Not a giant, but I will take you seven days out of the week. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Like a two and a half pounder eating a bait that's like half its size. See ya. I'm trying to mix up my retrieve from like slow walk, slow walk, slow walk to fast, 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 fast. Kind of imagine there's probably a fish behind it. Maybe he's he's stalking it, and then all of a sudden it starts moving faster, and his predatory instinct you know takes hold, and he's he's got to eat the thing. There's one thing about bass is that they hardly ever react the same way day after day, and so you might catch them on a walking bait with a, you know a certain retrieve one day, and then it totally doesn't work the next. So you really got to vary it. Even though I've had success so far, definitely stuff worth trying to see if I can catch even more. Come on, fishies. 
Come eat big old tap water, please. All I want is a big old splash. Come eat, oh my gosh. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he's there, he's, he's whole. No, 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 dang it. I pulled it away. Oh, I'm a dummy. I'm so dumb. Ah. Oh. What's that song? You had your chance, you blew it. That's me. Had my chance at a big one. Oh. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Oh, this is so cool. Holy cow. Out in the middle of the stinking lake. Can't even fight it. He's so big, he's so big, he's so chunky. Ha ha ha, look at him. <sighs> My wife would kill me for that. Are you subscribed yet? If you're not, you should be. So now that we've shown you guys what this bait looks like in the water, and of course the fact that it catches bass, I wanna share with you the secret to the big top water. And I'm not just gonna say the big top water walking bait, I'm gonna say the whole big top water category as a whole. Big top water poppers, big ploppers, and of course, big walking baits. And you know what? We could even lump together the big frogs, like the, the Spro bronze eye, the huge size, that can be lumped into this category as well. What is so special about big top waters? Well, I think the answer to why this thing is so special comes in two parts. The first being the fact that a big bait, of course they, the adage goes big baits catch big fish, they actually can catch small fish. We didn't catch any really small ones today, but if you see someone throw in a topwater this size, you think the only bass that can eat this thing is like a five, six, 10 pound bass. That is not true. You can easily catch one to two pound bass, your good average quality bass on a giant topwater. The thing that I think this does is gives you the opportunity to draw in more fish and bigger fish. So not only can you catch small fish on a big top water, you can also draw in more big ones. And that's what makes this bait so incredibly special. Now, the second part of the secret of the big top waters is the fact that they have what's called drawing power. Just like the big swim bait that I cut off this rod to replace it with a top water, big lures, when they splash, when they're worked back to the bank or back to your boat or kayak, they have drawing power. Fish in really any relatively clear water clarity can see and, and sense a big thing in their presence and if they're not going to eat it they at least have to come check it out and the only way you're going to catch a fish is if it's in the area looking at your lure and so in my experience i don't care if you're on the bank or you're in a bass boat like i am if you've got relatively clear water and you've got some kind of structure uh wood on the bottom you know sticks brush piles a grass edge and especially if you have a mixture of any of them you got a mixture of brush and grass a mixture of grass and rocks, a mixture of rocks and brush. If you have that down there, within I'd say 15 feet of water, you can and should throw a big topwater bait. Big topwaters and really topwaters in general are not just for shallow water. You, you look behind me right now and you see some riprap rocks, you see a dock, you see some shallow grass lines, and of course, a topwater is a great choice to go down the bank, just burn up some water. Maybe if you're walking the bank, do a, an entire you know, fast loop around your pond, topwater is great for that. But if you wanna make casts a little bit deeper, and like I said, if you have any kind of water clearer than like, two to three foot visibility, even in 12 to 15 feet of water, fish can come up and will, especially when no one else is throwing a big top water like this. That's what made our day so special. I was catching most of the fish today in like eight to 15 feet of water, which normally in, at least in my mind, I wouldn't think a top water is good for that, but hardly anybody does it. And that's one thing I love to do on my channel is to teach you guys things that maybe nobody else quite knows. And so the secret to the big top water is that it has drawing power, it can pull fish out of deep water, and it's not just for giant bass. You can still have a fun day of catching just average sized bass on a big top water, but you truly do increase your chances of catching a giant fish by throwing the big top water. If you guys wanna check out the top water I was using today, I will have it linked in the video description as well as the rod reel and line. You don't need the exact combo I was throwing to throw this bait, but it definitely helps with getting the longest cast possible and getting a good hook set into those fish. Now, if you wanna watch a very similar video I did talking about the best ways to target big bass, kind of like my top three to five keys. I will leave that up here in this corner. The longer y'all stay on my channel, the better it does in the YouTube algorithm. So I'd appreciate it if y'all would watch that. And we'll see you next time right here on TRF.